Jess and I am in second year studying medicine. I picked Oxford in particular because I like the science component of it and I wanted to learn about the science uh, underlying the body as well as the clinical aspect of it and Oxford offers that. So Oxford's quite traditional in that you have the first two years which are pre-clinical then in your third year you do a science degree but it's a BA but you do a science degree in a chosen uh, module so there's things like neuroscience, molecular medicine, um, infection and immunity and then in your last three years you go to clinical school and you basically spend most of your time up in the hospital uh, on the wards learning. My reasoning was location because it's very central, it's close to the science park area where most of my lectures are held so it's easy to get up in the morning and get there very quickly. If you don't enjoy volunteering, you probably won't enjoy doing medicine uh, as a career. Um, and places like care homes are a great place to do it. Um, but any volunteering is good, so you shouldn't feel restricted by the traditional, um, normal things that people do. Um, and then also, I think, for Oxford in particular, you should always keep thinking about the scientific aspect of medicine. So be aware of what's currently going on in the world and the science behind it as well as the medicine. So at the moment, for example, stuff like Ebola virus and Zika virus. Just keep an open mind and try and enjoy yourself, especially for medicine. Um, they're not just looking for someone who's really smart, they're looking for someone who can interact with other people regardless of their background. And so you've got to be able to interact with the interviewers, um, you know, and not be intimidated by them. Well, what I would say is that Oxford is a good place for medicine because it doesn't make you believe that you just have to go and do the course of six years and then become a junior doctor and then become a doctor and that's your life, which that is obviously a viable career option and most people do that, but it makes you realise that you can go into research and that there are other options available. So it basically broadens your horizons and especially with a medical career that's so vocational. It is very easy to just think, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next like, 50, 60 years of my life, maybe longer. Um, but Oxford makes you realise that there's more to it than that. So that's quite cool. So I don't actually know where I'll end up. And I kind of like that fact.